welcome back to 25 Sweepies. It is time for another nail art basics video and today we are talking about acrylic paint and nail art of course. So one thing that kind of changed the world of nail art for me was realizing that you can use acrylic paint for art and details because before that I was using nail polish which is perfectly fine and you can do that and it always looks amazing but let's be honest when you do that you kind of waste a lot of polish because basically you have to put it out on a palette of some sort or on a piece of paper then you're dipping from it you're doing the details but by the time you go back to dip again just start it's already a little sticky and really hard to work with which is why I then moved on to using acrylic paint because acrylic paint is a much more forgiving it allows you to kind of manipulate it more which usually that's a bad word but this is a good thing manipulation is good when it comes to paint and doing fine details so we're gonna go over that um for this for the most part, you can basically use any acrylic paint brand. I have some that I definitely know work. Then I also have one that I know does not work, which was super disheartening because I loved the color range and the selection that they had. But that kind of takes you into another thing. The cool thing with using acrylic paint is that no matter what color you are after, as long as you have the basics, you can mix it. You can come up with your own colors. You can make whatever you need on demand, basically. And let's just get into talking about what brands I use, how I use them, and so on. Okay, so whenever you're starting to use acrylic paint for art, you can have the bare minimums. All you really need is a piece of paper, not actually even a piece of paper. You basically just need an acrylic paint bottle and some fine brushes. You can use regular craft store brushes that are super tiny. That's actually how I started. Then later on, I ventured into nail art brushes. Those we're going to cover in another video, but really you can use anything that you feel comfortable using and that you think will be small enough to do detailing on your nails. So what I meant by you only need the bottle is that you don't actually have to pour any paint out with an acrylic paint. Of course you can, and it is very helpful if you want to mix colors. I would highly suggest if you plan on mixing colors to grab a little palette like this for just regular paint then putting dabs of paint here mixing your colors but if you don't have one of these on hand you can use a simple folded up piece of paper and do the same thing you can even do it on like wax paper or parchment paper or something like that that's disposable and is also protecting the surface that you're painting on but if you don't have any of those or you just don't want to bother with squirting out the paint my favorite trick to using an acrylic paint is actually just unscrewing the lid Putting this part off to the side so you don't bump it or anything while you're doing art is just grabbing the paint from the top of the lid. I rarely ever, actually I don't think I ever do, I don't actually ever open this and squirt it out. So you can just see that that's just from flipping the lid over, which is fine. But that is definitely the easiest way to use an acrylic paint in my mind. And while we have this one up, we're going to talk about brands. So this is the Craftsmart and this is the Michaels brand. They're under a dollar basically and you can usually always get them on sale or use some sort of coupon. I would highly suggest starting like with a set of like the basic colors. That way you can mix whatever color you want. But if not, you can go after the essentials. Like on my desk right next to where I do all my painting, I always have three different paints. I have navy blue, I have black, and I have white. But... Craft Smart is a really good one. This, sometimes you might need to water it down a little bit to get a smoother glide on your nail, but you're also, you just kind of play with that. The water is not going to affect the paint that much. It is still going to dry. It's going to dry really nice, actually. That is one thing you're going to find with acrylic paint. They dry really nice, but at a even pace, so you still have time to kind of work with them. And they also dry matte, which means you'll easily be able to see when it is dry. Which, I don't know, I've never really paid super close attention to it, but sometimes when you go to a store, you will see them labeled like satin or outdoor. I always just go for regular acrylic, or if there is a matte, I will go for matte acrylic. But I think all of the ones that I use on a normal basis just say acrylic paint, so yeah. Little details that you might not really notice and it might not really matter. Then another brand that I know that works is Apple Barrel and this one I think you can buy at Walmart and Hobby Lobby. I'm honestly not sure this is one that we had had in our like family craft drawer for a really long time and I just used it when I ran out of my Craft Smart White and then whenever this runs out I will probably just go buy another Craft Smart White and probably actually have one. I always have backups of white because I use a lot of white. And then 
one other brand that I was really excited about was called Handmade Modern, and this was a Target brand. I think it's Target brand. I don't know. It was like you buy it at Target. I don't know. And sadly, this one does not work. So if you see this one at Target and you see the really pretty range, you're like, ooh, I want to pick up some of those. Yeah, I kind of advise against those because I used this for a design the other day, put on top though, and it cracked like really bad. And so I tried it again another day, of course, and did the same thing. So I think this brand is just not meant to. It is labeled satin, but usually satin or matte labeling will work. So I'm not really sure, but I would advise against this brand, even though they have like the most beautiful color range. So ones that I definitely know you can use are Craft Smart, Apple Barrel, Delta, I believe it is. I don't have any of those, but I have in the past. And those are like on the bottom row in the paints at a Target. Those should be fine. They're in the same sort of bottles like these. So I would maybe say stay with the bottles that are kind of like this. But also if you ever wanted to get like one of those little pod packs i had some around here i don't know where they are but the little pods if you just want to test them out sometimes those get thicker quicker so you might have to add some water but those will work just as well as any of these and you can pick them up at any craft store even walmart i believe so now that we have talked about brands and i think covering like how to use them as like what surface to put them on or just using them straight from the bottle one thing to remember is that whenever you are using acrylic paint it is washable. So that means if you are using acrylic paint for art detail on top of your nails, you definitely need a top coat. If you don't have a top coat on, the next time you go to wash your hands, it's likely, it's not like 100% gonna happen, but it is likely that some of the design will start to like either scratch off or fade off because of the water. So you always want to lock in your art with a top coat, which you guys can head to the top coat video where I talked about a whole bunch of suggestions of those. But you just lock it in with a shiny or matte top coat of your choice that you know won't smear your art. Put that on, let that dry. Now one thing to kind of be mindful of is that whenever you are putting a top coat on top of acrylic paint is that it really kind of absorbs the top coat on your nail. So you might kind of still see like the texturedness from the acrylic paint when you put on that first top coat. That doesn't always happen, but it tends to happen with shiny top coats. So you might need like two coats of top coat in that case. But with a matte top coat, I haven't had that ha happen as much. It kind of just sits on top of the art makes it all look very smooth and cohesive big fan of how that looks actually and you usually only need one coat of top coat for that scenario but you kind of just want to test it and see what works and kind of play it by ear so you might allow a little extra time for the first time using acrylic paint so you guys will know and kind of get to know the acrylic paint that you're using sometimes if you've watered it down enough you don't have to and also that brings me to another point that's if you ever want a watercolor nail art look, you can actually dilute acrylic paint down enough to use it on your nails and it will look like watercolor. We're going to go over that in a video in like a whole watercolor nail art video, but it is super cool. So definitely grab some acrylic paint next time you're out or maybe you already have some in a craft drawer somewhere. Try it with your nails. It is kind of life changing when it comes to the nail art world. You can definitely do a lot more and you waste a lot less. So I think that is it for talking about acrylic paint and nail art. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them. Um, I've never had any like issues with it. It doesn't stain my nails. I know that's been a common concern that I've seen. I've never had acrylic paint stain my nails. It's really easy to clean up because the water's wash off thing. Um, most of them say, they, this one says non-toxic soap and water cleanup. Of course, you don't put it in your mouth or anything like that. But, I mean, if you've ever used acrylic paint for anything, it's not going to hurt you. I've never had it hurt me. If you have an allergy to something in it, then of course I would advise away from it. But that is something you'll kind of just have to find out or read the labels on because I know there are certain things with latex that I stay away from. So that is something, of course, you want to be a little cautious of. But it is not toxic. I've never had any issues with staining or anything like that. So for me, it is a go. <laughs> it is all safe and I love using it. It has changed the nail art world for me forever since I started using it. So like I said, questions, comments, concerns, anything, leave them down there. I'll get back with you. 
And we are going to be using a lot of acrylic paint in this series for detailing, so definitely grab some so we can play with it. And I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!